Violation of COVID-19 protocols and guidelines is now a punishable offence in the country. This follows President Muhammad Buhari's approval of the Coronavirus Disease Health Protection Regulations 2021. PTF Chairman and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Bas Mustafa, says this is in exercise of the powers conferred on the President by Section 4 of the Quarantine Act. Mitari Ipeng tells us more. It's contained in the Coronavirus Disease Health Protection Regulations 2021, the health and safety protocols and guidelines issued by the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 on the recommendation of the NCDC shall be binding on all persons. No person shall be allowed within any public premises such as offices, schools, banks, worship places and public transportation vehicles without face covering, hand hygiene, use of sanitizers and temperature checks. No gathering of more than 50 persons shall hold in an enclosed space except for religious purposes, in which case the gathering shall not exceed 50% capacity of the space. Any person who without reasonable cause obstructs an authorized official from enforcement of these regulations commits an offense. An offense under the regulations is punishable on summary conviction by a fine or a term of six months imprisonment or both in accordance with Section 5 of the Quarantine Act. Any officer of the enforcement agencies who fails to enforce the regulations shall be subject to disciplinary action by the disciplinary body of his respective agency. And in consideration of the urgent need to protect the health and well-being of Nigerians in the face of widespread and rising numbers of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria, uh, he has signed these regulations and they are quite comprehensive, all in an attempt to ensure that we effectively deal with this second surge. You remember during the first surge he signed one. Uh, this is an update with regards to this second surge and I believe that if we receive the cooperation of Nigerians uh, it will limit our interfering with their social and private lives. But we need their cooperation. If uh, we don't get the cooperation, the we'll, uh, government will not have any choice uh, but to continue to interfere with their social and private lives. The COVID-19 regulations now approved by the president are expected to give impetus to all existing protocols and guidelines that will help Nigeria win the fight against the pandemic. Meanwhile, the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 has formally presented to the Federal Ministry of Health five ambulances donated by corporate bodies to facilitate prompt response to critical cases of COVID-19. In Abuja, Mitaire, Ikben, NTA News.